tell us a little bit about your character and how she fits into the series? Yeah, definitely. Katie Frank is a teacher. She has a class of uh, sixth graders. Um, she also, in that class, has her young son. She had him as a teenager, so she's a young, uh, young single mom. Um, she also is in a bit of a custody battle with the father's parents. So there's some, some drama at home that she's dealing with. She's also in the hospital with the kids trying to keep the calm while having all this kind of fear inside um, and, and keep the parents calm and just keep the morale up. Um, but she's got her own kind of inner issues that she's trying to do. So just juggling a lot. Very warm and genuine and loving character in the end, though. She's on the contained side? She's in the contained zone at, at the hospital. Okay. So, you know, masks <laughs> are needed, definitely. How was it played with the masks all the time? Yeah, I had, there was one day I had it on the pilot that I had a mask for quite a while, and they had to keep changing it. The poor wardrobe ladies were just running because you'd pinch the nose, and then it just kept falling. So there were certain takes where I just, like, it would be a good take, too, and I was like, we're in this, and all of a sudden it's like... <laughs> it's like, there it goes, cut! And then someone would have to run in and give me a new mask. So it was interesting, you know, and I was glad I brushed my teeth before I put that on for like eight hours straight. So yeah, that was fun. Yeah. We were talking to George about um, what kind of, what he knew going into the show about right. the Belgian series or the show itself. Mm -hmm. And at end point, what did you know about Katie or what Katie was so, I um I only watched the pilot. I didn't want. I haven't watched the series. I'm trying not to be too influenced by it because I want to kind of let Katie have her own life in this in this world. Um, in the original, I do know that a romance takes place between Jake and Katie, and I know Katie. I think eventually gets sick in the original, but I don't know if they're necessarily fo necessarily following that. So fingers crossed. Um, but apparently, it's just a stunning storyline. Um, just a very rich relationship with her son and the kids, and she becomes an unlikely hero, which is very lovely. So I'm so I feel so grateful to get to play such a strong, awesome woman. So whatever, however they take the character, I'm in for the ride. Yeah. Uh, David Nutter is known as the pilot whisperer. He is. So can you talk about working with him and uh, what he brought to it and the tone for the show? Definitely. That's why David's so amazing. David Nutter sets the tone. He knows exactly how to create the rhythm of the show and the heartbeat. And what's so beautiful about David is he's so generous. So generous and loves actors. And, you know, he always comes aside and makes sure you're taken care of and you know where you're at and you're, and you're in the character's um, shoes and um, always willing to go aside and, and make sure you're supported. Um, I remember one day I had a heart to heart with him and he told me all his stories about directing and was just so generous in telling me you know what his experience was like that it made me feel really at home on the set. Um, but he cares. He, we do rehearsals ahead of time without cameras days before so we know exactly when we go to shoot what we're going to be doing. Um, and he just, he works with his heart. He did mention that. He was like, I use my heart, not my head. Because the heart's a very smart organ. And I think that's why his, his pilots are so great. Because they have this rich, lovely heartbeat in them. So I think he knows how to choose char or actors for characters that will kind of fit whatever that rhythm's going to be. So he's fabulous. So you said you were with the kids at the hospital. Does life just go on in the containment zone? I mean, do you still have class and stuff, or are you... I don't know, maybe. I don't know. I mean, we've only done the pilot, and I don't know what goes beyond that. So, essentially, I mean, sure, class could happen. I mean, I don't know how... I'd probably be a little, you know, nerve-wracking nerve as a teacher. But it would be also good to take everyone's mind off of things, so... So that would be cool. That would be interesting. <laughs> Let's everybody sit four to six feet apart, <laughs> hands raised, not to the side. That is said a lot. Pardon? Four to six feet is said a lot. It is said a lot, yes. yes. And I don't know if we were always four to six feet when we were shooting, but I didn't, I didn't say that. Does this uh, idea of um, contagious diseases and containment, does that, you know, do you, does that affect you? Do, do you think about it after shooting the pilot and maybe... Shooting Definitely. On the flight there, I was reading the script, and the guy beside me kept sneezing, and I was like, back off. <laughs> Just you, me excuse me, can he switch? Can he switch uh, but no, yeah, it it's scary because it can happen. So, 
it, what's so great about it, and it's, it's kind of, well, it's not great that that could happen, but you bring it home so people can understand the characters. You see these outbreaks, Ebola, which was, yeah, Africa it came here, but it wasn't really, you know, it, it comes and goes, and then when it's out of the media, you forget. You don't get to know the actual people who are losing their lives and, and who loves them and who they're losing. So what's great about the show is it gets you to value whoever is actually getting sick. So yeah, it affects, it affects me because I think of my loved ones and I think that how this could happen to myself and others. And it also gets you to take a look at how we act in crisis as human beings. And, and who we become. So it definitely, yeah, it affects you. I'm going to really use probably a lot of antibacterial. I mean, I may be a hypochondriac, so that might get a little worse or a lot worse. I'll just have to stay off Google and we'll be okay. No Google MD, anything. don't web MD anything. I'm like, oh, I have cancer today. Well, you can Tomorrow I have. Come out and then you have cancer. Yes. You can't do that. It's the worst. Yeah. It's the worst.